Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is uh, an addendum uh, video to my uh, episode 15 uh, article in which uh, I had a package of bees installed that weren't quite uh, building out a lot of comb. And uh, we're uh, probably, oh, about five days later from making that video. But uh, in essence, uh, this new package of bees wasn't drawing out any more comb. Uh, so I check, lightly checkerboarded it uh, on the outside, the, the nectar combs uh, that they had. I turned them around and I, I moved them out, tried to force them to build a little comb. Um, I didn't touch the brood comb in the center, three frames. Uh, in an effort to try to get them to start building more comb. I also took off the uh, if you remember I took off the the feeder the top feeder um, Now one of my followers uh, gave the suggestion that um, My hive looked normal and that my package had this in essence reached an equilibrium in other words The hive built itself to a point where, um, you know, I'm, I'm losing bees every day and there is no new, new bees around. And there's no new bees hatching yet. It hasn't been, uh, you know, hasn't even been 21 days since this, this has happened. So be, uh, older bees are dying and, uh, you know, the, the hive can only keep, is only so big to keep so many bees, uh, so many uh, uh, brood warm at night. So it has basically essentially uh, built all the comb it's going to build. It's backfilled, uh, you know, the stores from nectar and honey to a certain point. The queen has laid in only the areas that the, that the workers want her to lay until the new bees start hatching and the hive can start uh, expanding exponentially. Now that actually made perfect sense to me uh, uh, when reading it. And, uh, and I wanted to actually just, you know, it's been four days, I wanted to see um, if that was, you know, indeed true. Uh, right now, you know, I think we're at probably day 18 or 17 or something, I can't remember. This was, this was, uh, Installed on May 22nd, and uh, today is June 8th. Uh, so it's been 8 to 11, almost 19 days since the package was installed. Now they released the queen. I don't know when she first started laying, so you got to figure a few days in there. So, you know, we still caught probably five or six days before anything starts hatching, if they start hatching at all. Uh, but again, I just wanted to see if the, the bees were... Uh, building it out. Also, after I, I checkerboarded it, I also added some different style frames because, as you know, the, there were six black frames that hadn't even been touched. And I, I just, uh, after talking to somebody that told me that the, the black frames aren't very, uh, very well coated with, uh, with beeswax to encourage the bees at all to start building it out. So I just wanted to see how, uh, how the bees were taken to it. So, uh, so that new those new uh, uh, style of uh, plastic foundation. Uh, I think it's called Right Cell is what I installed in just two spots. Uh, and it has 100% beeswax coating. That's, that's sort of its uh, trademark, I guess. So um, let's take a look and see what we can see in this hive. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, give the bees a little smoke. We're just gonna give it a give it a little bit. You know, people weren't lying when they say that these, uh, even though these bee suits are, are white, man, they sure are hot. So uh, let's see what we can see here. No queen on the cover, so that's good.
No queen on top of the inner cover that I can see. Tiny little bit of burr comb. Not too bad. Let's set that aside. And let's get to looking to see what we can see. Hmm. Okay. Outside frame again, not touched. Not expecting anything to be touched yet. Now this is a frame that I uh, had checkerboarded. And uh, they are starting to build it out a little bit, as you can kind of see. There hasn't been much pollen being brought in, but I do see one, one bee there with a little pollen on his backside right there if you can see that but uh, not a lot but they are starting to build comb on top of this one so that's that's encouraging there's uh, nothing that I can see in these cells anyways here's another one that I turned around There's the queen right there. Can you see her? Now she's, now I can see actually, if you look real close, I can see eggs in each one of these cells. I hope you can see that. Uh, so, let's see if you can, you can see any eggs in there. But good, that's that's actually good. So I'm just gonna move this over just a little bit. That's strange. Now look at this. Uh, now this side that I had moved around, that I had turned around, is not uh, not built out at all. So that's kind of gonna be kind of important to me that uh, that this faces an area where these guys can can. Uh, keep this this side of the hive warm seriously okay now this is one of the cells or one of the frames that I had installed uh, to try to force the bees to um, start building out comb this is the right cell and you can see that they have indeed started to build this right cell foundation out uh, they got the top all full with uh, Nectar, I don't see any eggs in there quite yet, but uh, this side, nothing. Okay. This is kind of where I wanted to see some cat brood, I'll be honest with you. I probably should, this is very heavy right now. And we do have some cat brood. Larvae off to the side there, if you can see that. So it was a very nice frame. They're still building on this one. Some capped honey on top. Nice frame. Very nice frame. Good. That's what I want to see. Okay. One more over here. Again, that's exactly what I want to see. Fully, full cap brood right there. Capped honey on top. Uh, some of the cells look like they might even have started hatching um, just by looking at it. Those open cells do look like they have some uh, some eggs in there. Nice pattern. Very calm hive I got here today. Very calm. Nice. And then uh, then there's this one. This is also one of the new cells I installed or new frames I installed four days ago 
Uh, this side they are building out, as you can see. The other side they are they have not even started on. So I think uh, I think his uh, explanation, my commenter's explanation, does hold merit. Uh, in a sense, this is one of those checkerboarded frames. See the, the two on the, in, see the inside of this one? Nothing. This is the one I spun around. And if you can look, there's no eggs in, in this one at all. This is all nectar, pollen, capped honey, and uh, there's a lot of open cells with nothing for the queen, no, nothing uh, laid in there, no eggs in these, uh, these open cells. So some progress is being made and that's good and, and my guess is, yeah, again, nothing, nothing. My guess is that uh, once these uh, those cap broods stop start hatching, um, then they'll really start start moving on building out uh, building out comb in these frames. So um, good. All right, move this one over a little bit. Come on, get out of the way. All right, there you go. I'm actually happy, encouraged with the progress. That's good. I'm encouraged that they're, they're at least building some out. But uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, the hive does reach an equilibrium, a package does, at a certain point. Um, where nothing has hatched yet, and yet uh, half of your package is probably going to die by the time the first eggs start uh, start laying. You know, you start off with 10,000 bees, and by the time 21 days roll around, you might lose half of them because of uh, well, just pure age. You know, bees have a have a life of six weeks. So, um, you know, 21, 25 days, 26 days, whatever it is, uh, to get the first ones to hatch out. Well, you know, that's three and a half weeks. So. So, you know, depending on how old some of your bees were that came with your package, it makes perfect sense. Now, they can only keep so much area warm. Let's get this back on. So good. Exactly what I wanted to see, and um, no worries, things are progressing as they should with this hive. All right, big guy, come on out of there. Well, that's it. Um, I hope uh, we both learned something today. Anyway, so uh, be patient. Things will work out. But uh, it is always good to ch keep checking in on your bees. And uh, that's the only way you learn. That's the only way I learn, anyways, uh, is to be in your bees and, and uh, see what they're doing. And that way, you know, the next time, you won't be questioning yourself near as much. All right, happy beekeeping. Thanks for watching.